Google, along with parent firm Alphabet, have evolved from being only a search engine to a company that provides a wide range of services and products. Some of these include Google Maps, YouTube, Google Books, Google Android, Google Docs, Google Cloud, Gmail, and the Google Store for Apps. Among the many navigational tools available, Google Maps is particularly well-liked and equally effective on mobile devices and desktop computers. Despite charging nothing to users who visit their website, Google has made billions of dollars from levies, ad income, and ad sharing schemes. Let's see more of its updates. Google Maps is a consumer application and web mapping platform that it offers. It provides real-time traffic conditions, aerial photography, street maps, satellite imagery, 360-degree interactive panoramic views of streets, route mapping for public transportation, cars, bikes, and foot, as well as real-time traffic information. In 2020, there were more than a billion monthly users of Google Maps worldwide. Google Maps started off as a desktop C++ application at Wear2 Technologies, created by brothers Lars and Jens Rasmussen. After Google purchased the business in October 2004, the company created a web application. In February 2005, Google Maps was released following more acquisitions of real-time traffic analyzer and a business that specialized in geospatial data presentation. The front end of the service makes use of XML, Ajax, and JavaScript. Google Maps provides a locator for companies and other organizations in many nations worldwide, as well as an API that enables maps to be placed on websites owned by third parties. Google Map Maker was terminated in March 2017, but allowed users to collaboratively update and improve the service's global mapping. The business did not, however, stop accepting crowdsourced contributions for Google Maps because it had previously declared that certain features will be moved to the Google Local Guides initiative. The satellite view in Google Maps is a top-down or bird's eye view. The majority of high-resolution aerial photography of cities is captured from aircraft operating at altitudes between 800 and 1,500 feet, while satellites provide the majority of the other imagery. A 2011 analysis states that a large portion of the satellite imagery that is currently available is updated often and is no older than three years. Because Google Maps formerly employed a Mercator projection version, it was unable to display areas surrounding the poles with accuracy. A 3D globe was added to Google Maps desktop version in August 2018. You can still use the options to return to the 2D map. Since its initial release in 2006, Google Maps for mobile devices has been enhanced with features such as dedicated parking assistance and GPS turn-by-turn -turn navigation. With over 54% of smartphone owners worldwide using it by 2013, it was determined to be the most popular smartphone app worldwide. According to reports in 2017, the app and a number of other Google services such as YouTube, Chrome, Gmail, Search, and Google Play together had 2 billion Android users. How Google Maps makes money The majority of Google's income comes from advertisements on its many websites. Businesses can run advertisements on Google's search engine, map, video, and email platforms by participating in the ad program. Google then charges the those businesses to advertise, but in exchange, the business gains visibility for their brands to millions of users that use Google products. For instance, among the results of a Google.com map search for Boston would be a thorough map of the city produced by Google Maps. Users of the Maps software can move the map to search nearby locations and zoom in and out of it. There are several little ads for hotels, restaurants, and businesses in Boston down the right side of the search results page. There are also connections to other websites that offer printed copies of the city's maps. This 
kind of sponsored advertising is how Google makes the majority of its money. Google's AdSense program brings in money as well. Businesses may display advertisements on their web pages, which are based on user-generated content from Google's searches and are generated by Google's in-house algorithms. Put otherwise, AdSense ads resemble Google's on-site advertising, but are displayed on a business's website. When a visitor clicks on the ad on their website, these businesses, referred to as members, are compensated by the advertiser. A portion of the advertising money is paid to Google. Google's Revenue The financial statements display the revenue by segment. Even though Google does not disclose precise numbers pertaining to the financial performance of its mapped product. According to Alphabet's year-end report for 10K, as of December 31st, 2021, Google's revenue is shown below. $209 billion was made from Google Ads overall, which includes ads on YouTube and its search engine. 71% of Google's ad income originates from its search function. In 2021, the combined revenue of all businesses amounted to $257.6 billion. The financial data shows that Google's total income climbed by 41%, or $75 billion from the previous year. Business Listing Another more covert way that Google makes money from its free Maps application is through advertising. Google Maps has a lot of detail. Every map displays specific companies at street level, making it simple to locate a particular location. Hotels, restaurants, banks, pubs, and retail stores are just a few examples of the various symbols that are connected to different business types. Even so, it might be difficult to find a certain organization without knowing its address. Consequently, Google now permits companies to replace the generic icons with their own logos, albeit at a cost. For instance, Hilton HLT has the option to pay a charge to have its distinctive H emblem placed onto every map rather than the typical hotel bed icon. Compared to generic icons, the logos are simpler to recognize because they are in full color. With the help of the brand logos, travelers will find it much easier to locate a known coffee shop or hotel. For example, Starbucks, SBUX, or the Holiday Inn, IHG. Google Maps primarily serves as a platform for promotion and brand recognition. Even while not every Maps user will result in a business transaction for every company represented on the map. Google Maps Platform through the Google Maps platform, Google is able to generate income from businesses and sectors that require monitoring, mapping, and navigation. Businesses who would like to incorporate a customized version of the maps into their web or mobile applications are the target audience for the Google Maps API. For instance, ride-sharing businesses might link Google Maps to their website's app or software. In order to minimize wait periods and facilitate communication about where and when to meet, drivers and clients can follow each other around. Google Maps might be used, for instance, by delivery or trucking businesses to monitor the whereabouts of individual trucks in their fleet. The application assists businesses in analyzing expensive journeys and enhancing productivity. Google charges different prices based on the company's usage level. Google also provides enhanced search and request capabilities, higher resolution imagery, advertising control, and round-the-clock technical assistance. In addition to enabling goods to be sold with Google Maps integrated into them, does Google Maps make money? Indeed, Google Maps is profitable. Two main ways that Maps makes money are local ads that companies display to draw in customers and bespoke maps made with APIs that companies pay Google to utilize for a variety of purposes. Google Alphabet brought in about $257.6 billion in sales in 2021. Most of the revenue is generated by sales of advertisements, specifically from adverts on Google's search engine. With the help of Google Maps, users may effectively traverse the world we live in. Google Maps, like the majority of Google's products, is funded by advertising. Companies are able to post advertisements on Google Maps and even set up profiles to make their companies easier to find. 
Additionally, Google Maps charges for the usage of its APIs, which businesses can use for tracking, mapping, and navigation. Among the most widely used internet search engines worldwide is Google. In August 2004, the business went public under the moniker Google. However, its executives made the decision to restructure the business and more significantly change its name in order to push it in a different direction. Co-founder Larry Page stated in a letter published on the business website in 2015 that starting Alphabet will create chances within Google. He claimed that the relocation will also enable the business to launch and grow new projects, including investments in cutting-edge innovations like drone deliveries and artificial intelligence. As a result, the company's ticker symbols on the Nasdaq were kept, but its name was modified. And that's all the information on Google Maps you require, alone grown to be a $62 billion industry. However, the adventure is far from over. We have a ton more engaging content in store for you, covering every subject under the sun. To stay informed, confirm that you have subscribed and press the notification bell. Share your theories in this comment section area. Until next time.